We do have our first call of this evening. We have Susan on the line from the Augusta area. How are you tonight, Susan? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Doing good, Susan. Wow. Great. What is the situation uh, you're working through? Um, I just had a quick question. I heard y'all talking about truancy, and I just wanted to know if there were resources out there if I have an unruly child. I'm doing my best to get them to go to school, but even if I take them and drop them off myself, somehow, you know, they leave school or whatnot. Um, what are their resources out there for parents that are trying to get them to do what they're supposed to do, but they're going against us. I guess I'll take that one. Sure, <laughs> right up your alley. <laughs> yes. Um, so Susan, in a situation like this, um, we do have some resources available to you. I know it can be tough as a parent when you're doing everything you possibly can to try to get your child um, in school, make sure they're going to all their classes. Um, you can look to file a petition with the juvenile court in our CHINS division. And what that will do is allow for us to get some resources in place um, to see, kind of assess the situation, see if your child needs some educational resources. We're finding out a lot of times that children um, will start to act out. They don't want to go to school because they are behind and they're embarrassed. Um, there may be some other um, issues that we need to assess and we can do various assessments to see exactly where that child is. And we try to do it without having to bring it into court initially. So we'll do it kind of like in a family team setting mm -hmm. uh, with our education coordinator present, the parent, and any other uh, people we think that can provide resources. Now if at that point we still are unable to get the child into school and at this point they have accrued um, 10 or more unexcused absences, at that point we are definitely looking to have to bring that into court um, and we can look to handle it as a truancy. Um, we have habitually disobedient also if there's a child that's just refusing to listen to their parents' household rules. And so we do have lots of ways to handle that. Um, some of the programs we have, uh, counseling, mm -hmm. so we can deal with individual counseling. If we find that maybe a child is having concerns with um, drug or alcohol use, mm -hmm. we have uh, programs to, to deal with that. So, um, Susan, please go ahead and reach out to the juvenile court, um, and we would love to be able to help you and your child with this situation. Mm -hmm. 